Welcome back everybody to the Game of Thrones one. Yesterday I, I thought we got some pretty valuable information, but I think I might be slightly wrong in hindsight. So we pushed a we pushed a vassal claim on this guy to uh, basically just steal a province. Basically just as a test to see whether or not the system whereby they can call for aid from other people of their religion and culture would work. Now it didn't work for them, which I thought was good news, but as you guys have quite rightly pointed out, that could just be because we were at war with a du jour vassal. So it might actually be that we can go to war for any du jour provinces. Um, or, or it might be the fact that we can go to war for anybody else's, so push someone else's claim, and uh, maybe, maybe if we're going in for a claimant rather than a personal claim, then they can't call for help. No idea what it is, but we do have to be more careful then going into things in the future. I also want to discuss the reach play that we sort of set up, because there, it turns out there is kind of a way around that, you know, we haven't, not all is lost by the reach not existing anymore, let's put it that way. So another thing I wanted to do very briefly, and this is a comment I saw on the last episode, was, uh, it was advised for me to... Build up the towers in Emmons Rest as soon as possible, because right now, there isn't actually any base level of keep here. But but just investing the 250 gold or whatever it is to actually get it into a keep, you can see, gives us a fairly decent amount of troops. And actually unlocks a lot of other buildings for us to build as well. It's, it's sort of like your base level, right? So we're going to turn it from a tower into essentially a full-blown keep here. There is obviously the option up here to upgrade Honey. We can do that to any of these, or we can actually do it to the actual capital uh, of... Uh, oh, actually to the Kingspire Tower there. There's apparently also got some upgrades. So we might as well start with that because it's only 200 gold to go and we've got 1400 gold so honestly why the hell not um upgrade holding it will take oh my god the summer takes is at random and averages 40 years my god now there is a way we can speed that up and unfortunately the only way we can really do it is by the improved holding button as you can see there it will be 3.42 percent chance yearly of success so not quite 40 years if my maths is right but anyway um right let's go for upgrade holding and now that will, as it said, drop our levy size and our tax by minus 20% and minus 33% respectively. But when we're barely getting any troops or any tax out of it, it doesn't really matter, huh? Now this one we also did want to upgrade. Um, am I going crazy or did that say it would say it costed like thousands of gold? Oh, right, right, Kingspire Tower. That's the one that we don't hold right now. That's one under what, whatever his name is, our, our distant relative here. Um, oh my god, look at Princess Silt. Holy shit, she got 16 Marshall. It's a shame she's got timid, otherwise she'd be a she'd be a, an insanely good warrior. Diligent, ambitious, brave, sturdy, and trained fighter. She's unstoppable. Um stopped unfortunately quite tragically by the education system here. Fine, fuck it. We'll go for that anyway. Maybe maybe she'll end up being pretty decent. Can I also give her a good Marshall Guardian? Um Dorrance Master. She's our Brienne. She's our Brienne. Trained fighter, sturdy, brave, ambitious, diligent. But she's timid because it's obviously not traditional for women to be big warriors in, in Westeros. That's kind of cool. Okay, Dorrance, train her. Don't fuck this up because she's going to be like she's gonna be our Brienne. And that's all that matters, really. Andal Coast we can colonize? Did I see that right? Where the hell is the Andal Coast? Wait, we can colonize? Oh my god. The Andal Coast got ruined. I wonder if the Valyrians... During one of the wars, that's apparently, as you guys were saying, I actually didn't know this because this is a thousand years before the series and the book start. But apparently the reasons that the Andals uh, left from Andalos was because of Valyria's expansion. So, what I can only assume is one of the, as, as the Valyrians were grabbing, say, something like here, East Andalos, they probably torched this province with the dragon and turned it into a full-blown ruin. Wouldn't that be a weird twist of fate? They colonize us, or, or sort of imperialize us. We can reverse the things here and actually go and colonize the Andal coast. It's a little bit expensive for us right now. Not really worth it either because obviously it's very, very distant. The only reason we can do it is because it is within two sea tiles. Obviously one, two there. Dragonstone Sea and the northern coast of Andalos. I don't think it's really worth it right now though. So I'm not going to not gonna rush to do that. Oh, I know it's Valyria. It's also, also grabs some of the mainland here too. Shit. So they actually do start with Dragonstone because Dragonstone was sort of like a uh, sort of like a penal colony basically for Valyria. A, a prison island essentially like Alcatraz. The, I mean, I say it's a prison island like Alcatraz. Massive, isn't it? Um, but they've apparently moved on to Stone Dance. I mean, we need to keep a very close on that. Make sure Valyria don't you know, come in with, I don't know, religious, potentially they have religious cast spell like, because they're reformed. Hopefully they don't come in and, and tidy up all of this stuff, is what I'm getting at. But with regards to the play we sort of set up yesterday then, so we married off our son to a, a member of House Gardner, Leanne Gardner, who has a claim to the Kingdom of the Reach. It's a strong claim as well. Now, the only problem with this is that as we did that, the Kingdom of the Reach collapsed. I, I don't know whether they just didn't have enough Imperial authority, whether or not they could be in a mega war right now, but I actually can't see any promises that belong to the Reach, so I don't know what would cause that. Um, this guy's also at peace, so that should be the big thing. It just fell apart for whatever reason. So, we... Uh, unfortunately, obviously, we can't take the whole Reach in one fell swoop. Now we can't land our wife and then hire someone and inherit the whole Reach. That just won't work. What we can do, though, and I've also been telling some other stuff out of Discord, what we can do is... 
if we land her, if if we, uh, say, push her... She still has come in high garden, don't forget. So we can go to war against these guys, push her claim for high garden, which hopefully from the stuff we found out yesterday means that not everyone will attack us. Or, again, maybe because we're not attacking a Dijon vassal, they will all attack us. Not entirely sure. Either way, we'll claim hard, high garden for her. So if nothing else, we do get... Um, that is her, yeah, I just wanted to double check. That way, at least we get High Garden, which is obviously quite a nice province. Lots of lots of wealth coming in from that one. Um, and from there, we could expand out. But apparently, if you have a, a, an Empire-level title, it can downgrade into a Kingdom-level title, which you just at, like, any other du jour, um, and any other du jour Kingdom-level title claim, whereby we can press claims on all of these, obviously, Dukes, because they're part of the Kingdom of the Reach. Unfortunately, the Empires actually don't have any du jour land, because they're not, obviously, Empires. I mean, they're, they are normally under... Uh, the Iron Throne. So this for us is um, a little bit shit right now because all we've got claiming is on an empire that doesn't exist. But apparently it can downgrade into a kingdom, which if it does means that, hey, we've got all these claims all of a sudden. So that might work. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to take a look. My king, you have invested a lot of going to prove that I did do that, didn't I? It do be like that. I did that 30 seconds ago and forgot to actually upgrade it. Right, so I think... We actually want to go, as I've been told, their, their stats actually affect the ability of these, um, of these, um, sort of sub-abilities. So this one affected by, you know, stewardship, this one affected by martial, this one affected by diplomacy, whatever else. So I guess we want to go for a, high, a guy with high stewardship, yeah? To get the highest amount of improved holding. It's 3.4% with that guy. Let's put him on the council. That guy's upset by it. Don't give a shit, to be honest. I'll send him some gold. That'll shut him up in no time. Right, so what are we looking at now? 129 That was much, much better. Okay, so now we're looking at, what, like six, seven years? Rather than the however many years it was going to take before. Oh, he died! Oh my god, he's actually dead. Oh my god, he got maimed. Maimed, severely injured. Oh, and he still had the flu. I do vaguely remember that. Well, you live by the sword, die by the sword. Supposedly a uh, duelist there. I guess the flu probably knocked down his personal combat, but he was still living that duelist lifestyle. That's really great news. Holy shit. The shareholder for the... Oh, it's not that good news. We do have to pay off his debt. Okay. Um, pay off half the debt. The debt is reduced by half of the revenues during five years. Fine. We'll just pay off all now rather than... St you know, while we're in a good position, we do have that mountain of gold rather than let it stack up for the future. Nice. We got our tower back too. And more importantly, we got the treasury. We got the treasury of the house back, so we can re-equip the crown of the River Kings. There you go. This is what I was trying to talk about a few episodes ago, but didn't have another crown to demonstrate it with. There is the dynamic portrait system with the crowns, which I think is just really cool. I mean, look at that. You see that the visual difference there between equipping the Storm Crown and the uh, Crown of the River King. So we'll keep that one. We will try and obviously give that back to House Dranda when we land them as uh, sort of Daenerys style, I guess, back to being the lords of the, or our very loyal lords of the Stormlands, if we can ever get around to that stage. Many of you also point out Valyrian Steel is lighter than regular steel, so using it for a blunt force weapon, probably a shit idea. Um, you're right. Yeah, no, that was a, that was a pretty bad plan, but it looks cool. I mean, it would still hurt. It's still steel at the end of the day so hey maybe maybe that's fine i mean it's got spikes on it so yeah there's also that right okay uh ask courtiers to leave court do we want to do that did i invite anyone of any particular value i don't think so get out give me some gold we actually made five gold or uh, uh, 30 gold profit for that something along those lines hey you see that we made a lot of gold from that one nice 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 okay with that gold, I wonder if we can invest it straight back into upgrade. Oh, so this one's already been upgraded. Right, there you go. So we've got small river, riverman keep in that one. This could be a very, very valuable province when we make it our capital as well. Having four, essentially, I mean, even though they are towers, inverted commas, you can see that quite clearly it's the castle of the Tower of Dread. So they still, uh, for all intents and purposes, for CK2 gameplay mechanics, do count as feudal castles, for, as, as, as feudal barony castles. So we still get the levy bonuses from those as well, it being our capital Dutch and all that. This, as our capital, is going to be so powerful. We haven't really got Harrenhal, but we're sort of building our own Harrenhal, turning all the all the castles into their own sort of... Uh, so, sorry, turning the towers into their dedicated castle. This place is going to be unstoppable by the time we've built it up. <gasps> no, Ray died. She died of depression. Oh, drunkard, stressed, and depressed. Wow, okay. Um, what's wrong with her? Why, why, you, why you have to be sad? Honor my wife for the funeral, or we can say just a just a private funeral. She was nothing special, okay? She, it's not like she had literally every single son, and we were married to her for... for I can only assume something like 26 years. I was going to say 36 years then, but that would be very much not cash money. Okay, um, small private funeral. You don't deserve it. Is, is our guy particularly kind, cruel, cynical, lustful, proud man? Nah. Small private funeral just for the family, you know, something just to really bury her, chuck her in the mud. I was going to very quickly make these fake piles and sell them off, obviously, for a profit, but bear in mind right now we've got 1,024 gold and we have... No necklace jewelry right now. So, oh my god, we can search for a smith, right? Is that still in the Game of Thrones mod? Uh, search for... 
We should. We're an empire level title and we've got a mountain of cash. Fuck it. Search for Smith. Um, sell, you, sell them for a profit. We don't care about that. So we don't need a deadly weapon. Obviously, we're a bit past that. We don't have any armor right now, but there is, of course, Valyrian steel armor in the game. So we could potentially supplant it with something even better, even if we do get the quality four armor, even if we do pay the 3,000 gold for it, or, or however much it would be based on our wealth. Um, actually, we would, I think, hit just about the 3,000 gold cap. It wouldn't be worth it, because there is always Valyrian steel armor, which will always be an upgrade. So I think, let's go for the jewels, weirdly enough, because that will give uh, Vassal opinion whatever else. We are running quite a large domain right now. My king and wisdom... Ah, oh, everybody should... Uh, this is this is a nice way to be addressed. My king and wisdom, king potting mix. Double king. The girl possesses vast swords of knowledge kept secret from the world. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So we had to go and study the secret knowledge. I wonder if this time we can uncover alchemy or something like that. Oh, my dog's dead. A pyramid for Joris. We, we didn't give our fucking wife a funeral, but we're going to build a pyramid for our dog. I love it. Seaguard gains a pyramid, giving local revolt risk minus 5% permanently, and we lose our hunting dog. But you know what? My wife, oh god, she would be rolling in that in that shallow grave I dug for her. Meanwhile, our dog has a luxurious pyramid. My god. Well then, potting mix, you really are the monstrous man. Um, oh, we're going to burn a man. Absolutely. Oh, Red Priest. He'd probably enjoy it. This is probably his king. So once again, we have the choice of advanced uses of wildfire, alchemy, or arcane knowledge. We're going to go for alchemy. Teach me. Up. Oh, there we go. It's worked. It's worked perfectly. We've getting gold out of thin air. No, please, please teach me the the power of this. Uh, oh, God. What's this kid done? Who are you? Land? Who are you? My son. Oh, of course. Land. My son. How, how silly of me to forget. These peasants are all mine to command like little slaves. How dare you? We would never do anything cruel or cynical or proud or lustful in such a way. Um, you're under curfew. You're under curfew. He's getting the wrath trait. Oh, that's probably gonna... Oh, God. <gasps> what? Oh, my God. Your condition made it hard to rule, yet you rule in your own name you did. But now, as you sit in your hall presiding over the court, Master Maynard storms to the door flanked by his supporters. He declares you incapable to rule and assumes regency without opposition because we are a lunatic. Shit. We've effectively been deposed. Declared incapable. We gain... He gain becomes minor region. We lose 250 prestige. That unfortunately means we can do very, very little in regards to our regards to our character now. Um, wow, okay. Uh, what can we do? Can we at least... Okay, so, so let's start putting our eggs into the sun basket. Then let's make sure that he is prepared and ready to go. Can we send him on a foreign tour? N no? Why? Oh, because we're fucking incapable. What do you mean? Oh, that's so annoying. Um, there's actually no way to get out of this, is there, short of losing the Trank Airport, which is very, very difficult. I think the theology focus, random events whereby you, you know, like, there's literally a random event that can occur where you randomly wake up and realize, hang on a minute, I'm actually not crazy after all. You, you say, like, oh, this makes no sense after fucking a dryad in a rose bush. I forget the actual event that is base game, by the way. Um, wow, this sucks. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Alchemy, the manipulation of uh, transformation of materials is one of the more unusual pursuits of the guild. You spent much time in knowledge studying the complicated theories and then putting them to practice by experimentation. That's cool. Your skill and knowledge of alchemy is most renowned throughout the guild. We are now a master alchemist. Oh, very nice. Uh, and suddenly, gold is going to appear in our court. Um, oh, it's actually very cheap. It's actually very cheap. Look at that. Um, 55 months prestige and plus 6 vassal penny for 500 gold when we've got this much money in the treasury. That's a great deal. Lord Alaric, the typical cunt that he is of the sisters. I love the nickname, plus plus mod, by the way. Um, oh, we've got the, of course we've got the sister. We've got the north. I, I, I always assumed it was part of the veil. Maybe it actually should be part of the veil. Oh, it is. That, that explains, that explains why I think that, because it do be. Um, what are we going to do with you? You're being a bit of an arsehole, really. Domain too big. Oh, that's fair enough. Oh, wow, that's actually a minus 20, huh? Damn it, that's, that's a bit of annoying, because, I mean, we obviously want to develop this as much as possible. I guess we'll have to give out old stones, then. Um, sure. Is there, like, a branch member of House Mud? Is there a, maybe a Stark still somewhere that we could land with old stones? Um, history. I don't be looking for a Stark now. I've killed them all off. Um, has this guy got a kid? He has. She's a bastard, though. Serena Snow. Oh my god, this was the guy we sent to the wall. He actually had a bastard daughter. Look at that. Who is she? Lyra Snow of House Kerwin? Wow. She, so she's also at the wall. I, god knows who the hell she is. Wow, he actually had a bastard daughter. Um, can we invite her to court? I mean, let's mark her especially. We might be able to legitimize her and get a legitimate member of House Start back. Very weird. She's got the bloodline. She's got, the, oh, she's got our bloodline, weirdly enough. What the fuck? So she's got our bloodline, but not... Bloodline inactive, because... How has that happened? Oh, because that can be inherited by... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how she's not inherited the... Oh, bastards can't inherit the Star Bloodline. There you go. And that one is capable of being inherited by bastards. Right. Very weird. 
Okay, so obviously if we legitimize it, then she gets bloodline. Because of course our first character for this density was a legitimized bastard. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, we'd unfortunately have to like vassalize the Night's Watch right now if we wanted to get to our court in, in another way. Oh, wow, this is so good. Holy shit, I didn't even expect to get this event, so I wasn't going to talk about it. Good news, my king. Josh, Joshua. Sorry, I think I called him Joshua yesterday. You know, Joshua said excitedly, the goldsmith has informed me that precious metals and gemstones have been located in a nearby province. 150 more gold to upgrade it from tier 3 to tier 4. You can only do that if you're an emperor. Normally, in the in the base game, the gold cap is actually... So, so it's um 2,000 gold capped for your base one based on your monthly income for the actual start of the event if you pick the tier 3 gear. And then this is another 1,000 gold. Game of Thrones one, they've obviously rebalanced it quite heavily. Maybe it is based on... I don't know, maybe it's based on your culture as well, because we do count as old first man right now. So um, that is, as you can see there, is a backwards culture, making troops less effective. Um, sure, send someone to the end of the world if needs be. Let's get this quality pool. So this will give much more than a bonus. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, oh, told you he was a cunt. Okay, come on then. Come on then, fight me. What are we up against? Oh my god, the North try and go for independence. Vile. That's absolutely vile. Um, huh. That's something. Uh, my good vassal, the, the Tullys of House River Run, will uh, surely, surely be up for feeding my army for the next 20 minutes. Okay, um, what are we looking at then? So we've got 12,000 men from the north. We've got, over in Duskendale, 10,000 men. Who declared the war? The sisters. So what we've got to do is turn up at his capital, burn it down, and then in theory we can end this war right there and then. Why don't we get our fleet? Oh my god, we've got seven fucking boats. Okay, why don't we get our fleet rallied over to Crow Barons? Or Crows Barons, sorry. Get the get the boats over there. We might have to even hire some some boats. Oh god, this sucks. All right, uh, let's, let's also raise our vassal mercenaries as well. That will help out a little bit here. Man, okay. Um, let's spice things up a little bit. Okay. Uh, give me some. Give me some. Give me some of them boat. I don't sp spend too much money on boat because we sort of need to. Uh, Funny enough, we we do sort of need to potentially hire some troops here as well. Oh, there we go. Nice work. Tower, Tower of Dread is also upgraded. Does that mean we can get some more troops, or will that require? Your regular levy reinforcement rate. Yeah, okay, it does. That's fair enough. Look at this. Oh, my God. New Crown of Winter, Emerald Scepter, and the Sword of Heroes. New Crown of Winter, because the original Crown of Winter was lost, right? Look at that. There you go. I carefully made a copy of the original Crown of Winter, an open circle of hammered bronze incised with runes of the first men, surmounted by black iron spikes wrought in the shape of long swords. That's very, very cool. Um, what does that give? Vast opinion plus two months prestige 0 0.5. So the Crown of the River King is actually better. Oh, it's only quality two. Weird. Okay, but, I mean, that gives Vassal Opinion plus three. So, all of that for Vassal Opinion plus three and some prestige. Honestly, why not? They look fancy, huh? So, that goes nicely with our, our other crowns we've got here. Jump about that one. I suppose we could give that as our heir's crown. New crown of winter, like the symbol of the first man. Let's give that to you, then. So, Grand, Land, uh, Grand Artifact, sorry. Uh, here you go, my son. You enjoy yourself. A lovely crown of winter. There you go. Uh, just to give, I guess, a little bit more prestige, a little bit more respect here and there. So, you've actually got a decent army. 15,000 men. Um... Where have they come from? Oh, that's Duskingdale's entire army, is it? So we got a choice. Um, we've got we've got a choice. We either go for the sisters, we try and assault it down, we try and kill off his armies, we try and just just push all the war score on that. Maybe even take him as a prisoner. Is he in hiding? He's in hiding. For, so the chance of that happening is very slim. Okay, in that case, what a splendid object. You're welcome, by the way. You're, you're welcome, my son. Let's kill off these troops. Let's do this very, very carefully. Rocky on the center with his 25 fucking marshal. How has he done that? Was he always shrewd? Whoa, he's gotten even better since yesterday, I think. Then we've got Daffin and Hosta. Look at these commanders. 25, 24, 24. Let's auto balance the unit. Make sure we've got... Oh my god, I need to auto balance these fucking hiccups out of my life. Good god. All right, um, advisor, join me. Um, Lord Treasurer, you as well. I need to be very careful. At least we're dealing with all the traitors at once, huh? Can she... Can we revoke the north? And just keep it for ourselves. Because that's a lot of land to give to a single vassal, isn't it? I think I gave it away in the first place. But, I mean, it's not like we're close to our vassal limit at all. We could destroy the title and, and take it on the chin. Take, like, the minus 40 opinion with all of the north vassals for a while. But then, you know, we wouldn't have to worry about hoarding titles or anything like that. Our granddaughter died. Oh, she's incredible. Oh, she didn't die. Um, What? Who? Oh, that's a, who was she then? Oh, the twins, right, twins. One was born silver, look at this. One was born silver tongue, the other was born attractive and prolific. The attractive and prolific one actually lives. My god, she's insanely good. As marriage fodder, this kid is incredible. Let's teach her in Etika, I guess, try and get a Gregarious or something. I mean, again, marriage fodder for this character is insane. All all the gentlemen across the realm want to marry her, fine. Uh, you get your father to educate you, given that he's diligent and genius. Fuck me, these characters have got some good traits. 
The breeding program's going pretty goddamn well. Shame about us not actually getting anything out of it whatsoever, but that's fine. Um, okay, so how are we going to deal with this? River crossing between Rosby. What have we got? Blackwater Bay. Nothing to worry about then. Um, we should have that absolutely in the back, shouldn't we? Let's just quickly assault this down while we're there. Um, also make sure our commanders don't piss off forever. Excuse me. Where did our commander go? I don't know. Right, let's kill these guys. We should absolutely have this in the bag. That's going to be the bulk of their army's dead right there. At least half their army. Then it's just the Northmen coming down. Who apparently only have fielded 10,000 men. Oh my god, if we can kill that army before their other reinforcements coming down. I guess they probably sent all their troops down. I mean, it's not merged, right? It's separate units. So chance are, you know, troops from Bear Island, troops from all the way up here. Are going to take a much, much longer time to get down here. Let's kill these guys. Immediately swing back up and see if we can take the, the, the sort of the bulk of the Northern army there out as well. Yeah, that was pretty decisive. We lost, we did lose 4,000 men to their credit. Um, took us down from 15,000 to 11,000, but we did also kill 8,000. So I think that's a, I think we can, I think we can chalk that one up as a win. Right, so I, I actually quickly want to get up here as, as fast as we fucking can and annihilate the rest of these guys. Um, I'm really annoyed we lost that commander though. We get Dana, the Dragon Rider. That seems pretty good. Apparently, the, uh, the, the dragon tattoo I was talking about yesterday is based solely on the dragon's marshal. Marshal basically correlates to the dragon's size. So, obviously, they're not going to be any, any good at commanding armies ever, as far as I know, because they're a dragon. Um, but that does give us access to, obviously, unique mechanics. And apparently, the AI can trigger the siege events, but it takes, uh, like, up to a week, I believe, is the meantime to happen. I'll take a look at the code for that sometime, because I'm not entirely sure. Might be valuable to know, especially when we're not actually playing as a dragon rider, thank God. Hello, my friend. Um, didn't deploy Captain Lewis. I seek better station. You're pretty good, Sir Duncan. Uh, you tall, perhaps. What's he got? I mean, he's knight. Powerful. You are an Andal, though. We do have a bit of a problem with the Andals, I'm afraid. Bearing in mind they are trying to commit a cultural genocide here. No pressure. All right. Um, can we raise any more men? Did I maybe miss some troops here and there? Nothing. That's it. Okay. We're going to have to just fight with what we've got. Pray it will be enough. Is there a river crossing between... Okay. Not between the Northland and the Crow Barons. That's also very conveniently where our boats are fucking parked. What was that? Mountains? Wow. Light infantry attack plus 100% from mountains. Are you kidding me? No, stay there. Is that always the case? That seems maybe somewhat inflated in the Game of Thrones mod. Plus 100%. And the dragons, no use in the mountains. Dragons don't work in mountains for reasons. Um, I own nothing. We should still get the tactic out of it. But I'm just going to sit here for a while. And I mean, obviously, that's going to... Oh, they're going to move to the Greywater Watch. Is there a river crossing between here and Greywater Watch? Um, they'll take a river crossing penalty from that. But we won't. Probably because we were going to get there first. Okay. Let him move Malok over there. And then I think we'll just chase him down. Uh, right. So he's now moved Malok. We'll get over there. We will take a river crossing penalty for that one. I assume Great Water Watch has river crossings from bloody everywhere. So Crossport. Or uh, what is it called? Crossport. Yeah. Same story really. Do you want to risk it? Um, I mean it's better than attacking into those mountains certainly. When the bulk of our army is light infantry. Um, Rocky on the center. Dragon on the right flank. Hoster on the left flank. Do you want to go for it? What's Hoster like? Hoster's also really good. And he's heavy infantry leader. Uh, sorry, was that House Mud married to House Mud? My niece married to my nephew. Say no more. Say no more. Was that even his sister? Sorry, did I see that right? Oh, no, it's just his rival, his, his wife. That makes a lot of sense. Um, This is risky. I don't like it. Bear in mind, we are playing on hard difficulty. And we've got that backwards culture modifier. Are they, they're also first men, though, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay. Um, Fuck it. Should we roll with it? I made you everything, House Bonningale. And you betrayed me. Let's do it. I'm, I'm actually going to roll with it. We, we outnumber them by 3,000 men. It, it's, a, it's a risk, but those 3,000 men are not quite cancelled out by the by the river crossing. I'm sure we've got better commanders than them, right? Right? Oh, we're good. It looks like we're good. Do you see that legendary tactic coming off the bat there? Light field of fire. Very nice. Look at these bonuses we get right now. My god. 99.7% chance of those tactics being used. Dragon on the flank is so powerful. These dragons are absurdly powerful. Right, okay, so let's stay at least close to our boats. We'll split off around, I mean, hopefully around 2,000 men. Send those guys over to the sisters. Try and get rid of that as soon as possible. <gasps> oh, let's be like all shocked that we actually got her in battle. But in fact, we are not at war with her. Despite the fact that we've got the Lady Paramount of war North in our prison. Doesn't count for any war skill. Why would it? Why would it? It's not like she's an important character or anything. Fucking game. All right, let her up. Um... No, just let her rot. Let her rot. I was going to say we might want to throw her in an oubliette so she doesn't escape the turn of pact. We've got everyone's favourite. Or we could... I mean, what else could we do with it? We could ransom her out for the gold, but that's probably also not worth it. Oh, nice. The Widow's Tower also upgraded. So let's bring these guys back down a little bit. Don't go too far. Moat Kaelin is not good for feeding armies. There's not many vegetal there. Um, What? Beth converted? I don't know who Beth is. 
We're gonna ask her preferably don't do that. Thank you. All right. Um, keep things keep things paused. Oh god, he's under attack by first men. You're an andal. I don't give a shit. Get out of here, Lord Norbert. That's what you get. You chose poorly. Right, okay. Let's put these armies down a little bit and try and get some of them onto boats. Um, that's so frustrating. I, I really wish there was a fill up to the amount of men that you can carry on the boats button. That would be CK3. That's a feature we need right now. Paradox are asking, like, what features would you love to see in CK3? That's it. That should have been top of my list. Instead, I was like, oh, we need more varying difficulty levels rather than just, you know, giving the AI bonus fertility or bonus tax or whatever. But instead, no, I've, I've changed my mind. Fill up boats, boy. Okay, um, that should be enough. Especially if you put the dragon on there as well. I think that guy will torch in no time, huh? Because he's not exactly going to be up against much of a force here, I can't imagine. Being in the sisters. Right, you guys merge. Then get the hell out of here. Being in the sisters. Uh, a common CK2 sound. By this, I mean the province of the sisters. Rather than your physical sister. Okay, um, I'm going to send these guys to... Fine, you kill each other. I'm going to send these guys to Counter Siege. We're going to tidy up some more of these armies. And we'll just let this guy get the, the majority of our... Oh, gather ingredients. The majority of our war score, hopefully, from their capital. Please burn it with your dragon. I'd appreciate that. Us and Beth are going to head out on a trip. Oh, that's the woman we just asked to convert back. No? You are clearly perry -Ann. Who was... I'm so confused. This is why we declared incapable. Okay. The... King of the Tower of Dread has built some infrastructure in the ruins. Unfortunately, the tower is still in... The tower still is still in ruins. And the building was destroyed. I will not do that again until it's rebuilt. I wanted to build a weird butcher there because it was... You know, it'd be just a good place to put it. Oh, so how the fuck do we rebuild it then? Um... Oh. I feel like that's an event left over from Harrenhal. Because obviously Harrenhal was, was burnt down by the dragons and then had to be... You have to rebuild it so that it, it's usable again. But... Harrenhal hasn't existed by this point in time, and there's certainly been no Aegon the Conqueror, as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, that's a little bit annoying, because I believe that means then we can't build any of these up. If we build more than two buildings, then it'll just collapse. We lost the basic farms and the, uh, sorry, basic fence, private farms, or something like that. So, does that mean we're limited to the amount of buildings we can build here? Is there actually any way to ever rebuild that? Um, from the looks of it, no. <laughs> um, is there any way to rebuild that? I mean, maybe we need to put a higher keep? If anybody knows, let me know. It's been a long time since I've restored um, Harrenhal, so I actually don't even remember the mechanics when it is actually Harrenhal and not just Emmons Rest or, or, you know, long before Harrenhal even existed. So if you guys know, please let me know because I would be very interested in... What? You can't do... Did you die in my fucking dungeon? She... Wait. That was her, right? Well, she was murdered in my dungeon? I suppose that can happen. That's annoying. Oh, and then this guy very conveniently gets selected. Well, that's a bit fucking shit. Okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of that, I'll be honest. Assassinating this hostile power in my... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Period of interacting. Queen Jane of Shepherd's Hearth. Welcome. That's a lovely crown you've got there. Very annoyed by that. Very annoyed by that. But never mind. I mean, she was not like she was a super high-value prisoner or anything. Like, she actually wasn't, unfortunately. Right. Kill off... Here's, here's his armies, by the way. This is the armies of the guy that has been uh, causing chaos. That caused this whole rebellion... All 2,700... You know when you say you and what army? That's it. That's his army. My king, for too long, Liana Dayton has occupied my rightful seat. You are of the Torrent team. What, like House... Like House Dane? No, I'm not acting against House Dane. Get out of here. Have you seen that sword? Nice. My king, I've captured some high-value prisoners. Dana the Red Dragon has actually done it. You madman. Um, no offense. Well, we can say that. We're allowed. Uh, Camp of Nines. Shit, we can actually just Camp of Nines. I thought it was in hiding. Well, he's clearly not anymore. He will be in a second. Boom. Nice work. Holy shit. That tidied that up very, very nicely. Goodbye, my friend. All right. I think it's time to revoke some titles from some traitorous vassals. We're allowed to be declared un un unincapable now. Um, oh, shit. We've got the choice of letting Ben the Neil send me to the fucking dungeon. What, can I just revoke title? The revoke title? Because we are... Oh, my God. I bet we're... I mean, declared incapable, so we probably can't, right? Send him to the dungeon. Send him to the dungeon. Damn it. Oh, when he's declared war of him... What? You can't just do that. Put a judgment of harsh. You... You rebelled. <laughs> judgment of harsh against rebellions. What? Go to the... How dare you cause the death of thousands and thousands by unlawfully going into rebellion. Get to the dungeon. You're lucky you kept your fucking head, Lord Cosgrove. I'll crush him. Okay, send her to the dungeon. She, she's not your prisoner, she's Maribel. Fuck. Uh, Moat Kaelin. Oh, let her bend the knee. I'm not interested in bloody Moat Kaelin. Um, what's going on here? What's this mess? Are you telling me... Wait, what? So they just get permanent independence? That's not right. 
So because she was elected while they were in the middle of a rebellion, she's now fully independent without having to fight a war for it. A war that, by the way, we won and actually had the Lord Paramount of the North in prison over. That's not right. That's some, that's some real bullshit right there. So we've just lost that. that. Genuinely, I think we've just lost that because of game mechanics. Please piss off. Oh, no. We're not. We're not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm getting rid of him. I'm turning this off. This DLC is being turned off right now. Where did he land? Where, where is he landing? Turani. Where is... UT? That's fine. He landed in UT. That's fine by me. Okay. Are we, are we good? I can't see any fucking Aztecs anyway. Okay. I think we're fine. Uh, there we go. Bloodthirsty. I think we're fine. Uh... Landed in Cape Kraken. No, no, no. That's not good. That's in the Iron Islands, isn't it? Uh, yep. No, he's actually right here. No, I'm turning that off. I, I'm, I'm. Hopefully, you can all see why this was not supposed to be. You know, this was the Andal invasion, not the Aztec invasion, and we sure as fuck cannot fight Aztecs and Andals. Round two, then, with with my good friend Stasky Dale. Can't believe we're still apparently declared incapable at this stage, given that we are once again defending the goddamn round. Oh, another daughter, the granddaughter. Oh, that's cool. Um, Arissa Mud, you are <laughs> garbage. Um, so what are we? Wait, what is he in here? Is he Cat's Wald? Oh my God, we've we've picked up. Wait, our grandson has just landed on the. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, it's not a big deal because wait, who was I looking at? Oh, the mother has a kid already. Right. Okay, that's very confusing. So Arissa Mud. Um, so this one is is the one that we are potentially going to end up playing as. Uh, Silty. Right, okay. Um, we gave her thrift, so I guess we'll give you struggle and see if we can turn you into a powerful fighter. Fuck it, honestly, why not at this stage? Uh, let's give you a decent guardian too. Oh, Sil is a very good guardian. My god, look at Sil. Brilliant commander, cavalry leader, directly, skilled fighter, brave, ambitious, diligent, charitable, humble, chaste. Holy shit. Dude, we've got so many incredible characters of House Mud. There are in an insane amount of good characters in House Mud, and we've somehow ended up playing as the worst of the bunch. No offense, Potty Mix, but you're shit. You've got two Diplomacy, four Marshals, six Stewardship, five Intrigue, and 18 Learning. Unreal. That's actually unreal. Okay. Um. Right, so let's, let's bring all of these guys out. We've still got 13,000 men, so this this war with uh, this war with Duskingale in hindsight should be very, very easily done, given that we, uh, you know, kicked their ass last war. Bye, Duskendale. Nice knowing you. There you go. That's that down with. Who's he sieged by? Oh, he sieged a castle that we just had in his capital, weirdly enough. Um, probably because the whole realm should be ours, am I right? They're quite a powerful little duke. I might try and break... Oh, that's not them. That's a separate but almost identical color. I might try and break this up a little bit because that's, that's quite a lot of power they control right there. Um, why have we got minus 18% war score? He's done nothing. Oh, he controls all of his holdings. That explains a lot. Uh, we can lose 300 prestige, gain 43 gold. That's going to be a no from me. I mean, it's a very tempting offer. Do we ever forge that bloodline? Do we ever try and forge that bloodline? B apparently not. Oh my god, okay. Win 15 foreign wars. We're almost there. Um, 10 out of 15. My god, we are actually almost there. Murder, execute 30 people. I wonder, at the rate we're going, we're going to end up with a hybrid bloodline. Especially if we were to just execute these prisoners in our prison right now, if we're allowed. That would give us the opportunity to get the hybrid bloodline because we'd be halfway to the... Well, we're over halfway to the foreign wars. And then we'd be halfway to the murder or execute as well. Um... Wow, shit. Okay, let's try and forge yet another, yeah, another bloodline then for House Mud. Fuck it, why not? No one of value here. So why am I assaulting these provinces down willy-nilly, even though it's incredibly dangerous? And we're going to take a lot of losses. Well, all of a sudden, I now want to forge this bloodline. So I want to do as many wars as possible in the shortest period of time. Um, oh, I should have really paid that guy, huh? Let him rot. I'll hack his head off later on. So we probably want to turn off auto stop plot start off with. Um, oh, it's already off. Don't do that. Orion. Oi. Pack that in right now. Council say no to stopping this man assassinating my son. Welcome to Crusader Kings. Okay, this is unreal. Being declared incapable, they might as well just say, you know what? You've had enough fun playing this game right now. The power is no longer in your hands. Nothing you can do. Thank you. Very cool. We'll just watch our son die and our whole dynasty fall apart. I mean, it's kind of accurate to some extent, I guess, with the Game of Thrones. Right, 56%. What can we do? Let's, let's kill off. Surely we're at 100% battle war score already, right? Only 22%. Okay, fair enough. Kill them all. I thought, I thought we'd already wiped out all of his armies. That's why I was a little bit confused. Right, so that's given us a... We're still only at 42%. So if he's got any more troops kicking around, we'll kill those first. Because that would give us just a tiny little bit, I guess. Um, who is Daffin? Oh, sure. There you go. Mary. I mean, that's uh, literally no no, no skin off my nose. Okay. Um, 76%. I'm just going to just gonna sit here and assault, I think. I think we'll just sit, sit in his capital and just burn it down. Yikes. 14 years old, uh, pregnant, difficult pregnancy, yeah, no shit, um, oh, it's my son's fault, brilliant, dedicated to the father, 
a fucking father you need to be dedicated to. I mean, he is a uh, father by nature, I guess. Um, that's not very cool. I'm not not into that. Not into that. I don't think it's a little bit. You know, it's a little bit morally morally strange, I guess, for the Game of Thrones times. It's a little bit a little bit different. Um, but for modern times, and we can judge by our own standards. That's a little weird. It's a little weird soil. He hired mercenaries. The fool. Yes, feed me war score. Um, daughter was born to Prince Soil. Uh, this this tiny girl had a, a daughter. That's not weird at all. Thank you. You don't get a good name because you are staying on this dynasty. War for says the man with the wife who was like 40 years younger than him. Okay, done. Thank you. What do you think about uh, now, now you want to be my prisoner? I mean, what else can I do? We'll send him to the dungeon. There we go. That's, uh, we could have saved so many lives and so much effort. Good God. Oh, oh, gather, oh, gather ingredients again. Okay, fair enough. So there's not really much we can do right now. Can we, can we execute anybody? Execute all prisoners. Execute Zero, or if we execute her. Um, execute. Tyranny and fear. Don't want to do that. I, I do want to do that, but obviously we can't. We'd have to call her for trial, I believe. Um, so let's get you. Let's call you for trial. Let, then let's see if we can execute you, and then hopefully we'll be able to get this bloodline. Only the council is guilty. Nice. Okay. Um, verdict has been reached. The council can decide. So now we can actually execute him and not incur tyranny. But the council have to approve it, which they do. Boom. He's gone. Um, if we can eat him, which I'm not going to be doing today. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, we're getting prestige and piety. for. Oh, lose piety for that one. Put him in a bear pit. Yeah, that's cool. Tear his bowels out. Boil him alive. Saw him in half. Bury him alive. Wall him up in a tomb. Break him on the wheel. I will break the wheel. Um... Crush him. No, a bear pit. I was, I was, I was on board with the bear pit. That's the sound of justice. That's the noise justice makes, by the way, if you weren't familiar with it. Um, can we execute you? Oh, right, because he is actually a traitor to the realm. So he is guilty because he went into a full-blown rebellion. Execute him. Uh, also throw him in the bear pit. Is that two, two unique noises they made for the bears? That's great. Uh, what about this guy? Can we execute this guy? Alaric the cunt. I remember you. I remember you a lot. Now, you are too good for the bear pit. What's the most painful way? Crushed to death. That seems like it'd be too easy. Boil him. Uh, boil him alive sounds pretty fun. Uh, wall him up in a tomb. Yeah, you suffer the most with that one, I think. Or bury him alive. I think. No, you suffocate if you get buried alive. Just wall him up. Wall him up. That way he dies of uh, thirst rather than rather than suffocation. Perfect. Problem solved. Have we made a lot of enemies here? Almost certainly. What about you, tiny girl? Uh, can't apparently execute the tiny girl of Moe Kalen. I suppose we could just release her. It's like I mean, we'll let her. Oh, they don't want me to release her. They don't want me to. Uh, Exile her. They don't want me to execute her. They just literally want her to sit in the prison. Uh, oh, we can assault her. They approve of that one. Thank you. Fucking idiots. We can throw her in the Oubliette. They also approve of throwing an 11 year old girl in the Oubliette. Apparently, everything else. Far too tyrannical. You know what is tyrannical? This going missing. Around being literally divided in two because of a game mechanic. Um. Uh, again, not a legitimate game mechanic either. I should emphasize that that was a, a bug, an unintended consequence of somebody in our prison being assassinated during a mega war and then an interregnum coming as a result. N wasn't supposed to happen. I will leave that up to you guys, whether or not... I, I mean, we should really just console it back. I shouldn't really put this up to a vote. But we can say it's a circumstance of just the way the game's designed. I'll leave it up to you guys. We should have this. There, there's no legitimate reason why we shouldn't. It is, again, just a bug. But I know there are some purists out there who don't like any console commands, even if it is to fix bugs like that. So I'll leave it down to you guys about how we should approach that one. In the meantime, though, thank you for watching. A lot a lot of rebellion. I think we are in the final twilight hours of King Party Mix the Monstrous right now. The bloodline will hopefully be forged before his time is all said. An 11 out of 15 on the foreign walls. be great to get that one. Because I believe that would give us a lot of bonuses to to warfare things like can we like push a claim on the north or anything like that we can do. Um, we could just try to claim the fucking north, which would work. Eight thousand members. Ne next episode, we're not going to console command. I've decided we're just going to try to claim the north. Then we get it for ourselves, and it takes off another one from our bloodline, and we should be able to crush them. Let me just make sure that we are in the right position. Let's make sure we've got we've got troops being trained, which we had before I pressed the button. Um, let's give ourselves a bonus to levy size here. Let's make sure that we're collecting taxes to hire mercenaries. This is going to work. This is going to work. And it's going to... I don't care what they think. Fuck it. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you all for watching. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons without which this channel and the series would not be possible in the first place. So a big thank you goes to... Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Gollis, Sunikira Toa, Moses, Average Gamer 419... Uh, sorry, the game has decided to pop back up for some reason. Bacon Kitten, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolin of Gunlin, Fakuna Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Harik, James Shade, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Mike Mullum, My Name Isn't Dio, 
Natbuskus911, Muskratful, Necrofillin, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Smegma Stain, Somnus, The Forsaken One, Tiba Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backers, Boy Prince Kibo, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Thank you all for your support, the Insanity Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. Thank you for bearing with me over the past few days, but we are, um, I mean, back on schedule. I mean, this happened yesterday, so I'm just not much of a surprise, really. Thank you as well to Uwu Daddy, Asro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Paul Doon, Ben Trope, Brian Gunn, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corgi Circus, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 7, Emerald Beam, Exploded Knees, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Gray, Haji Demar, Icarus, Ice of the Great, Ida C., Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Yoran DeVries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mistolp, Monty, Mosey Sampson, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nordstrus, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Kears, Shari, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, Volonkari, Baragon, Voodoo Mambo, Will Wade, Wilson and Tef, Wolfie, Yellow 4, Yorkus, Zach, and Zico too. Thank you guys all for your support. Thank you for bearing with the channel. And hopefully you guys are still enjoying some, uh, some Game of Thrones here. I think I think this is it's all it's all about to kick off. It's all about we haven't really expanded our borders very much, but we're just taking about what we've lost again.